All right, so my GoPro died, so I'm gonna have John filming me. Um, decided to keep my pouches on, just so you guys know. Because you think I just don't wear pouches. You know, I wear them when they're necessary. It's really not 100% necessary here, but it is convenient. It's inconvenient on walkers. That's my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. I got a cushion up here. I can, I can walk on this kind of decently. It's a 10, it's a 912. Put the pitch finder on it. It's definitely not an eight, but uh, I might be using this as well. Just got a little extra grip. I'm gonna try that. And then I got one other thing I can show you guys. And that's this right here. Not everybody knows of this or thinks of it. You see how this part of the ladder, this skinny part right here, is on the gutter here? Well, that means the ladder's tall enough that I can basically slide this off. a nice little chicken ladder. You can also just take these parts off and then send this up and if you turn it upside down the parts that help fold it uh, won't be in the way and you can use that also. So this comes in handy also and this is more what I prefer for the most part than the other one. The uh, that they get get much higher, get there quickly, a little bit safer. I feel so. All right, we're gonna keep busting the stick. Want to take the right way?
Back. It's coming back right a little. <laughs> It'll be much time soon enough. Yeah. I want to get at least. Boy, Kev, can you slide like three bundles down onto this mm -hmm. for me? Yeah. Because John's filming? Yes, sir. Okay, let Boy Kev do it by himself. Okay. Film what I'm yeah, Keep it on me. Just slide it down to it? Do not. No. Maybe hold on to the ridge and gently. Yeah, hold on to the ridge and we'll, go over. hold the key. Yeah, the, yeah, I got it. Oh, come on, boy, cop. We're trying to turn you into a roofer here. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Gentle. Otherwise, you pull the nails out. Scott, I'm a millennial, Zach. What do you expect? I think I am, too. I'm joking. By definition. <laughs> uh, Nikki's calling. That's all right. Okay. Just letting you know. She can go without me today. Where's she going? No, uh, he's he's just saying she can go, like not talk. To her. Uh, you could step on this to slide him down. Well, hold up, dude. I'm over here. Trying to do stuff for you. Enough. I need me now. I'm going, dude. <laughs> like a Quick wear, move. <laughs> I mean, you, you two interacting is funny. That's all you got. Here we go. Bam. No. Bullshit. On drip edge? Up here. There's a whole ass long piece somewhere, right? Huh? I don't see any up here. Really? Yeah. Tim probably just used it on the, the finish. Oh, these insurance guys. I don't know. They're freaking mad. They're gonna get back filled like a mother for that. Well, All right. Want to use it? We'll be taking lunch. No, a full piece gets me to the top. I don't want a piece oh, of this. Cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, right. sorry, man. Hey, I don't know. There might one well, might have uh, got blown on the ground. Yeah, about to say you want to check real quick. Yeah. Could be.
That's probably three bundles. How long's that video been? Uh, 19 minutes. Okay. Just open it. I did a little messing around in the beginning. That's a. That's probably a square at least in 15 minutes. That means once. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. At least a square. We're gonna pick those up with lunch time. Pick those up before we go. That way they don't end up in that tree or that tree. Well, actually, the wind's blowing that way. That way. maybe this tree. That's stupid. That's a real catcher. But we're at 14, uh, or we're at one square in 15 minutes ish. We're close to four square an hour on something that Port pays $27 a square. So you know. That's after you get it all set up and everything. And then there's still some rake and everything that we're going to have to touch on. So, um, not much of it here. It's just a little pipe. I mean, nothing nothing too crazy. I'd probably be able to hold close to three square an hour uh, for the rest of the day. I mean, you're talking about a $70, $80 um, an hour day for the most part. You know? But really, the key is trying to get through that and do it in a fairly timely fashion. You know, 46 minutes ain't the worst when you think about it. I mean, there's a lot of little details. Um, maybe use a lot. Also, you could set up a stage across the bottom and do it all off of that. And just put the, you know, have it set up the way I had it set up originally with the, with the board and all that. And then it can still go really fast because you have your shingles on there. You could just kind of pull from there and be standing at the gutter. I didn't have my stage out here today. Even if I did, I, I wouldn't have used it because I didn't want I wouldn't want anybody to think that I wasn't, you know, doing this the regular old roofer way. So I kept it old school for you guys, and uh, I hope you learned something. Let's let, let's take a look around, see what they got done. Love how there's no J channel on that. Oh, looking good though, Tim. We're gonna have to get some flashing back up in there. Oh yeah. I had to put a couple tins down there in the box. Dude, I'm definitely making more money than you guys today. Serious? <laughs> Did you look over there? I didn't realize I work seven days a week, like Oh, uh, uh. Alright, we're about to do lunch though. Oh, Boy Cub's favorite little thing, dude. He's always getting chicken boned in the cone. <laughs> Dude, you are constantly chicken boned. Those fucking tents don't want to move for shit. Why? What do you mean? You're just getting chicken boned? You get wall, then chicken bone. Wall, chicken bone. <laughs> you get your chicken bone in the corner, knock it out. Yeah. Well, I think I've got a. Oh, yeah, I got a. Uh -huh. Let's go to lunch, dude. One more single.
the key is, and a lot of people never get this, the bad ones in here. The key to being fast is, and will always be, consistency over intensity. All day long. Because I can sit here and bust this out all I want while the camera's on me, and maybe you guys will think I'm fast. By speed nail or whatever. But you know what? It's over the course of a day that people get wore out. That's why you got a plan for that. A lot of people feel it's unsafe like to be up here 
and I'm gonna get a lot of comments, I know it, about how unsafe I'm being and maybe even setting a bad example for people, but like, I mean, come on, like, even if, even if I were to fall, I mean, look at that. Or if it, like, um, you know, like, it's just like, I don't know, it's kind of like snowboarding. You fall this way, right? If I'm about to go this way, you know, that's my own fault. And still, I even think that would be fine. You'd end up more of like a like a running down motion and try to shift your body weight this way, you know? Like, this is a 912 for sure. If I wasn't filming on that camera, I'd show you guys the pitch, you know? But, like, it's really not that bad. So, I mean, I get there's rules in place and for probably good reason, but, you know, you can see how easy I'm getting across this. I didn't even know it until this moment that it's that easy for me to get across this. You see, I've been really scooting along and doing safe things. A lot of people in the one video when I was on an 812, that they would say that sponge isn't gonna save you. You know, it's a couch cushion or whatever this is. The other one's a couch cushion. But like, you're right, you, this, might, this might not save me, those will. On the 812, I didn't need that because it's not even like close to being sketchy like that. So, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to bring that up. Don't do what I'm doing if you're not comfortable. And I tell my people, my guys that all the time, and there's harnesses in the trailer if they want them. And I offer it to them every day. You know, but sometimes, I won't even say what I was going to say, but we don't usually like to wear them. You know? I wonder how many people are wishing I'd eat my own words right now. Just go, mm -hmm. go straight off. You know, watch me land on my feet too. <laughs> I've fallen before. Academy from a back of town.
Chris is calling. Starter? Uh, it just says Chris. That's my, that's my brother. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> no, that Chris ain't. He's done a board dump play. Mm. But no, that means it's not business, so mm. I'm not really doing that. Right on. So, I just thought of something as well. I'm kind of, you know, I'm just going to show you guys a different way I could be going about this. You know what? I ran out of coil, but I ran out of uh, shingles right here, right? That was just how much it's comfortable for me to put on. The thing I could have done was gone out that comfortable level all the way across. I'm not going to do it because I didn't realize the board was already about to be in my way. But I could have just went out like a comfortable length a few times, kind of like I did on the bottom, and then came up here and just had a steady system to get to the very top reach. You know, would have been another good way to do it. Uh, 23 minutes. That's not bad. I think I like square. Yeah. Three one, three uh, coins out before. Yeah, yeah. Pretty close. I was about to say you you butt went the way you were just <laughs> saying saying that it shouldn't happen. <laughs> oh, I couldn't do that, man. They'd love that shit. <laughs> Watch me pop back up like a spring chicken. I was right back up here. I was about to see if so much go on. It'd probably break. Seals run marathons with broken legs. I think I could shingle with nine. <laughs> never use these cushions very much. I wasn't a real believer. I was always like just a chicken ladder guy. And I think that would be the case if this was a true 10 like I thought it was. These, these cushions do come in handy. This is really only the second job I've ever used a cushion on. First was the 812 video. Yeah, for up there, yeah. There I go, just trying to think. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. Well, now guys uh, who are now insurance companies can watch this video and realize how serious it is when guys say that the gap. 
between the wood are pretty big and sometimes they're going to end up landing where we have to nail. Therefore, probably could have got them to pay for a resheet on this one. Now, I personally know that these shingles will be fine and they're not going to go anywhere. Yep, all the way down. <laughs> First one's always the toughest. Mm-hmm. Oh, they could have got up there if they came down the alley. Well, yeah, they were, they were all worried about, uh, they were all worried about the power lines. I mean, all we would have to do is come up in the grass over here. It would have been fine. Well, if you jumped in that way, straight in, and yeah. you back up a little and went back out. Yeah, that's true. They were just being difficult. Yeah. So they were just being difficult. And they also, also cycle too, so I didn't really help you look at it. Mm, I see. I'm 
Cut that out. Hey Tim, when you get a second, can you cut off, can you send over like a three foot piece of ice shield for me? Sure. For around the back of this pipe? Oh shoot, I need that piece of starter right there too, bud. Mm -hmm. Thank you, buddy. Let's not go there. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. That's yeah. Okay. 
I need him to try not to talk about it. I'm an extremely logical person, so like. <laughs> no, since that makes nothing on at all. <laughs> That's even worse, Slider. It's a pretty damn good explanation for a sphere or whatever. Yeah. theory on that is. I know it's so dumb that I never wanted to really look too, too much into it. I heard the basic just a bit, but no, that's, that's wrong. Yeah. Me and the, I gave it like a quick little chance on that. Mm-hmm. And my brother Nathan, so I was sitting on the couch, he came peeking over, and he like kind of listening to something on my shoulder. And then they go, gravity doesn't exist. And I was like, they both just lost it. Yeah. <laughs> just because gravity doesn't really exist. <laughs> like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I really wasn't putting much pressure on that, just so you guys know. And some people just find anything to talk about. Mm-hmm. The same. Really, I don't need any ice shield. There's another partial one right there. Right. Is it big enough? Uh, it looks like it. It's alright. Right. I'll get it. I'll get it in where it fits in somewhere else. No. Thank you though. I'm all about scrap efficiency, but not that much. Yeah, you get a whole, whole rake to fill in yet. Mask up for while you're there. that ice shield. And as you try and pay attention.
all done with that side. Zombie over there. Straight got it. I wish I counted. I don't know how many square it was. I'll bust out a tape to tell you guys later.